Hey, good morning everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me. Uh, I've decided to do a favorites video. I've never filmed one and um, I've watched uh, other people's favorites and I thought, well, you know what? I think I want to film a favorites. So these are the things that were my favorites in the month of March and I have quite a few things to share with you. There's The main reason I wanted to do this video is I have some things I wanted to share with you that don't really fall into the beauty category, um, but they're just things I want to tell you, things I like, and I wanted to let you know about them, and maybe you might be interested in them as well. So let's start with um, let's start with uh, skincare. First, uh, I needed new wipes, uh, makeup wipes. So I like this simple brand of the micell micellar water. So I decided to try these simple cleansing wipes, and um, I like these. These are great. They do not make my eyes burn, which I've had problems in the past with that, but I haven't lately, so that's good. Uh, so um, yeah, these one wipe will take all the makeup off, and even my eye makeup. So I'm very, very happy with this, and I'll probably stick to this brand. Um, I have tried more expensive wipes and uh, have not liked them. Uh, so, and I've tried cheaper wipes and definitely didn't like them. So I think um, since I do have sensitive eyes, I'm going to stick with these um, facial wipes. So I'm, these are a favorite. Next, um, I'll show you. I have a couple of samples that I got these from Sephora. And I use them very sparingly, but I am so in love with them that I am probably going to try, at least with this one, to save up the money to get it. This is uh, Needles No More, and it's by Dr. Brandt, and it's great. You put it wherever you have lines, and it really helps to soften the lines, uh, the wrinkles. From what I understand, it's pretty expensive. I, I have priced it before and just said, well, well, I'm just be very sparingly with my samples for a while but uh, yeah I, I love these the second is also I got some samples of and it's by Coors and it's the black pine active firming sleeping oil I love this I love the smell of it um, I love their firming night cream which I have some samples of that I'm using sparingly being very careful with them I, w I want that and I want this and so so far it has a set I believe I, I don't want to give you a price but I'm thinking around $58 I might have to buy the set of course the set is not full-size products but um, yeah I love love that next um, body I've shown this in an empties I still have my little jar I loved this airs body polish and it's all gone I love the scent of it. Like I said in my empties video, to me it smells like key lime pie without the graham cracker crust. Um, this is yummy. And this is, uh, if you watch my um, weight loss videos, I am going to be, uh, in my next video, stating that when I hit a certain weight, I'm going to treat myself to a little shopping spree from their website. And I love this. And this uh, scent is Pompous Sunrise. So, yeah, that's good stuff. Next, we're going to move on to hair, right? Yes, hair. I got quite a few hair products, surprisingly. I have John Frieda uh, Color Refreshing Gloss. And this one is in for cool blondes. I love this. You uh, cleanse your hair in the shower. And then you, this is, you have to wash your hands after you touch this. Uh, you can't really tell, but it's purple. I've got some little dried crusties right there. It's purple. And you put the gel in your hands and run it through your hair. And you leave it on three to five minutes. Um, and, uh, or three minutes, at least three minutes. And then rinse it out. And I swear, I think this is extending my color because I haven't felt like I really need to color. I know I've got some gray showing. I've got a big old patch of gray right in there, but with the blonde hair, it's not too bad. But I think it's really extending my color, and I, I really like this. 
This I will continue to buy and continue to use. Another thing I bought, and I got this from Sephora, it's from Dry Bar and it's Blonde Ale. Now you put this, it's a brightening cream, and you put this in your hair after you've towel dried and it says it uh, boosts the shine level in blonde and highlighted hair and helps smooth and repair dry process strands. This is great. I love this stuff. Um, I will continue to purchase this and use this as well. This this is really good. Uh, it's a yeah, you can't really see that. It's kind of icky. But it's just a white cream. It's just a white lotion that you put a little in your hands and put it through your hair. Love this. Love it. Another thing was a sample I got recently, I believe in my Target box, in Not Your Mother's Beach Babe Texturizing Sea Salt, sea salt Spray. When I don't want to really do anything to my hair, after I wash it, I spray this in and it does, it smells tropical. If you don't like the smell of um, like suntan lotion, you're not going to like this. I personally like the smell of suntan lotion. So you spray this in your hair and it does, because I have such wavy hair, um, it just it gives me tons of curls. This works better than any other one I have tried. And I have another one in my bathroom now that I think it's going to be a giveaway. I'm going to get rid of it because this is it. So when this sample is gone, um, I should, really should just go buy one and save this for vacation. And then, yeah, I think I will do that. I'm just going to go buy a full size one because I love that. Next, you've heard me talk about, if you're a regular to my channel, that I don't shampoo my hair. I, I have started shampooing my hair once a month to get the buildup off my scalp only. And my hair's dirty right now, so don't really pay attention. But this is what I, I use when cleansing conditioner. And I love this stuff. I swear by this stuff. I haven't had any hair falling out. In fact, I've had the opposite. I used to um, feel like I was shedding so bad. And when I started using this, I have less hair lossage. So I, I don't know what the whole deal is with people complaining that when made their hair fall out. I don't know how they used it. Um, I know you're supposed to use a whole lot. I mix when, um, for my cleansing, I mix when with Hair One from Sally Beauty. And Hair One uh, is, um, it's a cleansing conditioner. It's not as conditioning as the win is, I can tell you that. It's like a knockoff, it's a dupe. Um, by itself, I wouldn't use it, just by itself. I'm not a big fan of it. I have tried it by itself and I, I didn't really care for it. But I do mix it with my win so I can extend my win, make my, my win last longer because this stuff is expensive. But um, then for my cleansing portion, I use Strictly Win. So, I love it. And this one is their Spring Honey Lilac, which is just the... He has scents that come out um, for the seasons. And then he has his regular scents he has all the time. This one is a seasonal one. And this smells like lilacs. Oh, it smells like a lilac bush. And I have a lilac bush out front. And it smells just like it. This smells so yummy. So I am loving this. I am down to... I am just down to here on this. And when summer comes around, I'll be switching them out. So uh, you rarely see wind products in my uh, empties because I am I went a little crazy with wind. I love wind. So I have, I bet, maybe 10 different bottles of wind, different scents that I switch out and use a little bit of the, I mix and match, make up my own scent. But this is the the spring one, and I am loving it. So, oh, I have one more makeup thing I forgot to show you. That is my Too Faced chocolate bar palette, and I am wearing it today. I have um, I'll hold it this way. I have the white chocolate on my uh, highlighting my brow. In the crease, I have milk chocolate. And then on the lid, I have marzipan, 
and then on the corners and then into my crease I have some black forest and I have that also under my eyes and then I tight line my top uh, top line with triple fudge so that's the colors I have on my eyes I love this chocolate bar Too Faced has a peach one that's on their website but it's sold out but I have uh, uh, added my email to to be uh, alerted when it's back on sale. I want the peach one. Uh, they say it smells like peaches. I don't really care about the smell when it comes to eyeshadows. I'm a but I do love scents. I, I mean, I really do. But uh, the the colors in the peach one looks really cool. Um, I have looked at the the uh, semi sweet semi sweet chocolate I think and the chocolate bonbons and the peanut butter and jelly one and they don't really interest me very much but I, the peach one does so that is one I, I want next I have a candle and this will will probably will not be in my empties until maybe sometime next year <laughs> this is a Yankee candle and the uh, scent is island cooler and it smells very tropical. Does it tell us anything on the bottom? No, not really. One of my best friends, my best friend Libby, gave me this for my birthday in January. And she knows, she and I are alike. We would love to be on a tropical island sipping one of these drinks. So, thank you, Miss Libby, for this. And uh, I have been burning it. But uh, I tend to burn more candles in the winter than I do the summer. But I have uh, mindfully been burning this. I've been wanting to. Because I love the scent. Okay. Next, I have... I think I'll go with my clothing. I have never shown you guys... See, I wanted to show you some clothing items that I've got that I love. And so, first off, I have a new pair of Keds. A new pair of Keds in a salmon color. And I just love these. Nothing says spring like a pair of color, colorful kids. And this is my favorite color. This salmon. This salmon color. So I was excited to find these. They're brand new. They had never been worn. They had the tags on them. And I got them at Goodwill for $3.75. Yes, you heard me right. I got these at Goodwill. And that was one of my Goodwill treasures. I call it, uh, I call it treasure hunting. My son calls it Goodwill hunting. Get it? Anyway, I was very happy to find these brand new, never worn, and they're great. So that that is something that I love. Second is a shirt. This shirt is made by New Directions, and you, I purchased this at Belks which is our local Southern department store. It's an extra large, but it fits me very nice. I love the neck. Can you see the, the beads, the bead work? And, and it just kind of is flowy at the bottom. And I just, I love this shirt. This has been a favorite. And when I first saw it, I'm like, ah, I don't think so. It was on sale. So in, if you live in the South, you, you know Belks can have some great, you know, red line sales. So, this was on sale. I went ahead and I said, well, for the price, I'm going to buy it. And it has, it has become a favorite. So that's that. Next is, let's go grab this. Next is my jacket. I wear to the Y when I go work out. Or I just wear it around. I love this. It is a sweatshirt style jacket. It's hard to show you on the video but it flares out around the back it has pleats that flare out in the back I love the cut of it this is by make sure I get it right its logo bought it on QVC so it's uh, I forgot her name's Lori I can't remember her last name but anyhow her stuff her her brand is logo and she she makes these great blouses that layer and flare out and have the cute styles. So this has been a favorite. This jacket. And it's the rose gold 
it has the rose gold um, zipper on it. So I'm loving that. Last is a sweater. I got this. You can tell I'm not prepared. Let's turn the sleeves in, inside out. I love this sweater. It's got um, the shawl collar. And it's one of those, look, look at these sleeves. You can wear this. You can wear this um, all year round. It's great for spring. It flares out in the bottom. I love how it just kind of flares. And um, it's, I just love it. And this is from Tord. And it's I Wear One at Tord. But I just love this. I love this sweater. And the back is longer than the front. Or the sides. Yeah. But I love that. Now, the last thing I want to talk about are books. And I'm not sure if you're really a big reader or not, but the first one I want to share with you, I think, will be this one. I saw a few videos. I don't know if you've heard of KonMari. KonMari is the uh, Japanese art of decluttering and organizing. So I purchased the book, and it's called The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up. I got this at Barnes and Noble, and because I am a a member, or what do you call it? Yeah, I think it's called a member. It sells for sixteen ninety nine, and I got it for forty percent off. So I got it for ten bucks. I know you can get it on Amazon for around a brand new for around nine dollars and change, but I figure um, I would just pick it up at Barnes and Noble so I wouldn't have to pay shipping. I'm not an Amazon Prime member. So I didn't want to pay shipping. So uh, I love this. The author is uh, Marie Cotto. And this book just explains all. There is, there's no pictures in this one. It's just, uh, you just read it. It's all about how to declutter your home, tidy up. But she talks about, uh, in this book, Keeping Things That Spark Joy. So I found out she wrote a second book. And it's called Spark Joy. So this is the companion book to the other book. And this one, has, as you can see, I've got a Torrid coupon. Got a Torrid coupon. Keeping my spot. I am about halfway done with it. I'll be done with it. Um, maybe by the end of today or tomorrow. Uh, but it really, it's all about, she shows you how to fold your clothes so they'll fit. But she talks about, like, there's a certain order to decluttering. And you start with your clothing, and then she has it all listed in here. And she says to take, like, all of your clothes to, to declutter by category, not by room. Take all of your clothes Take them all out of the closet, out of the drawers, take everything out, and hold each piece and decide, do I enjoy this piece? Do I, does it spark joy into my life? Do I want to keep this piece? Um, do I wear it? There are things that you want to keep, uh, like maybe some formal dresses that you're not going to wear all the time, but um, if they make you happy, then you keep them. Uh, it's, um, she doesn't believe in this. Well, if you haven't worn it in a year, throw it out. It's what makes you feel happy. And I love that idea. So I haven't started to tidy yet. Uh, I want to finish reading this book. This book goes more into detail about, um, helping you find, uh, ways to store your items. But she does not believe in going out and buying really cute storage t tubs and all of that. She even has some great ideas for making storage out of um, using cereal boxes and shoe boxes. And I was thinking birch boxes. Your empty birch boxes would be great. Or, you know, your empty Target box. Or if you're lucky enough to be able to get the Sephora monthly box. You know, those boxes are great for storage. So, I am loving these books. And I just wanted to share it with you. Uh, it's 
the mag the life changing magic of tidying up, and then sparks joy, and they are by Marie Cotto. I did purchase this one. This one I picked up at my local library, and I'm reading it. So you don't have to go out and purchase these. Check your library because there's a hold on these. That's why I purchased this one because the whole there was more people wanting to read this book than there were copies available. And just so happens I had just finished that book when this copy became available a few days ago and I went and got it at the library. It was they were holding it for me. So yay. So these are these are really I think really hitting the the world by storm. People are really uh, getting into this. So if you want to check them out, check your local library. While I was at the library, I picked up another book. This is American Housewife Stories by Helen Ellis. This was in the new section. Uh, so it's got to be a, a fairly new book. Um, if you want to purchase it, it says U.S. It retails for 24 But like I said, I got mine at the library. Uh, let's see. Yep. 2016. So this book just came out. It's a collection of short stories. And <laughs> some of these are absolutely hysterical. Um, I love the short story. Uh, I haven't finished it, but I love the one where it is just, um, it's called The Wainscoting War. And it's about these two women who uh, live in apart an apartment building and they have an adjoining hallway, a connecting hallway that it's their responsibility to to decorate and to keep up. And it's a series of emails from to each other about decorating. And it it just absolutely this has been my favorite so far short story in here. It is a it is so good. There's another one about um, a uh, author who. Um, goes on a reality TV show um, called Dumpster Diving with the Stars. That's a funny story, too. I can't wait to finish reading this book. But this book, I mean, rarely do, do I really gush over a book. I read a lot. But this book, I think, is absolutely hysterical. I'm going to check out this author's other works, Helen Ellis. These, I love this book. I absolutely recommend this book. It is so good. Check your local library um, or, you know, check Barnes & Nobles or uh, Amazon.com. See if they have it. Uh, if they have it for a good price, it's worth it. I, If you like funny short stories, I like it that it's not, you know, I love to read a whole book. I mean, I have no problem with that. But I love it that they're short stories. And I just, I just love this book. So... That's that's my favorites for the month of March. And it's a pretty long one. I'm sorry about that. But it was my first favorites video. And I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you liked it, please give me a, a thumbs up. Um, please subscribe. Share it with your friends. If you have any questions or comments, especially about any of the items I have here, um, please um, you know, leave me a comment below and I will answer you if you have any questions. Um, the sweater was Torrid, the sweat jacket's QVC, and the shirt came from Belk's uh, department store. And, um, yeah, I think I told you where everything came from. The win came from QVC. Um, yeah, I think I told you. John Frieda, you know, you can get at your local drugstore, you know, Target. I believe they sell them at Walmart, you know, anywhere like that. Um, so yeah, there you go. Uh, so again, thanks for watching and until next time.